Good happy Wednesday morning, September 30th, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, flood watches in effect as heavy downpours continue. A flood watch is in effect across the Granite State as tropical downpour does approach the heaviest of which will take place through early Wednesday afternoon. Granite State is voice opposition to natural gas pipeline at Ringe meeting. More than 200 people turned out in a Ringe Tuesday night to voice their opposition to a controversial natural gas pipeline. Scammers posing as VFW police say. Northampton police are warning residents after they received reports of a group claiming to be Fundraising for the Veterans of Foreign War. AG's office launches investigation in pharmaceutical companies. The State Attorney General's office is launching an investigation over the marketing of prescription opiates by pharmaceutical companies. Rain in forecasts promotes flood watches. September has been a fairly dry, warm month, but granite sedators are in for some heavy rain overnight into Wednesday. Victim in 34-year-old AZ cold case identified as Nashua woman. A woman from New Hampshire has been identified as a Victim in the 34-year-old cold case in Arizona. Officials prepare for fire prevention week. State lawmakers and fire officials are getting ready for National Fire Preven Prevention Week by outlining their concerns about safety. Police arrest men accused of selling crack cocaine in Manchester. Manchester police said two men accused of selling crack cocaine in the Queen City were arrested Monday night. Sorry about that. I have some allergies this morning. Red Sox manager meets... President Obama at Hotel Gym. Just like any other morning on a Boston Red Sox road trip, interim manager Tori Lavo woke up Tuesday and headed for the gym at the team hotel. New Hampshire to RNC chairman per bus where staying first. The state's top Republican key Democrats and its top election officials are promising to fight any attempt by the nation Republican Party to do away with the New Hampshire's primary first in the nation in 2020. Eversource fined 250k after electrician. The state's Public Utility Commission has fire, fined Eversource 250000 for failing to repair a broken arm on a utility pole in Keene, where a Keene State College employee was electrocuted while investigation, investigating a report of low-hanging wire. Manchester police investigate each side armed robbery. 
Manchester police said a man armed with a gun robbed a gas station on Manchester's east side on Tuesday. Putin gets approval to b begin Russian airstrike in Syria. Russian's Federation counselor has given President Vladimir Putin the okay to his the Russian Air Force in Syria, state media reported. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have great rest of your Wednesday. Goodbye, everyone. See you later.